What's up, friends? Hey, it is Tuesday, and y'all got a quiz tomorrow. So I'm going to tell you the exact words you guys need to know for your quiz so you do well. Now, tomorrow's quiz is not open book quiz, so do not get any ideas. You have to close up that science book after you reviewed. Put that science book far, far away, and then take your quiz. Tell you right now, it's going to be multiple choice. But if you don't study, you won't do well. Or if you haven't been watching the videos and paying attention, you won't do well. So please, pretty, pretty please, make sure you guys are watching the videos every single day, especially this one, because I'm going to tell you basically the answers of the test. So I'm going to give you the, the, the vocabulary words that I'm going to be looking for that you will have questions about on your test or on your quiz tomorrow. Uh, there are 10 questions, super duper easy. Uh, you know, not that, not that many problems that have to try to remember, you know, definitions and stuff. And basically, they're all pretty easy, I feel like. So, to get us started off, first word you guys are going to have to know is the atmosphere. That thin blanket of gases that protects our Earth. Now, it's that simple. Uh, you know, it'll be, what is the thin blanket of gases that protects the Earth? One will say air, gravity, uh, you know air masses and then one of them will probably be atmosphere since that's the correct answer so it's going to be questions like that where all you're ha going to have to do is just just know what those things are uh, so i feel like that one was pretty easy now another question that you're going to have to know another word or term is air pressure so you're going to have to know that that is the weight of the air you know gravity's pulling that air down <clears throat> so that is air pressure um, another thing we're going to have to know is altitude, which is just the distance above like sea level. Um, so how high you are off the ground. Uh, so when you're up in the mountains at 7,000 feet, cool, that's your altitude. You're 7,000 feet high while you're up there on that mountain. Um, so, so far, there's three of them already turning the page. Now, we need to know what the troposphere is, right? Remember, that's that first layer of the atmosphere. Uh, that's where weather happens, you know, like storms and all that kind of stuff. Um, I think Mount Everest is like halfway up in there. So like Mount Everest is like 29,000 feet. So, you know, it's like about 12 miles off the earth. Um, but that is also the closest layer of the atmosphere, like to the earth, uh, the troposphere. Cool, so you're gonna have to know that one. And you're gonna to have to know what weather is. And weather is just the condition of the atmosphere at any moment in time. So right now it's sunny outside. That's the weather. It's warm. That's the weather. Uh, cool. That'll be on your quiz as well. Look at us. We're already like more than halfway through this thing. Now, another easy one, you guys. Wind. It's just moving air. I can see the trees moving outside right now. So I know there's wind out there. So just moving air. Wow, that's hard, right? That's really hard. Oh, you know, yeah, come on guys. You can do this, you can do this. I know you can. All right, and then one of our other words that is gonna be on the test are global winds. Global, listen to the beginning of that word, global. Okay, cool. So global winds. They're moving in large circular belts around the globe. What? How, how do you figure that out? Yeah, around the earth, going around the earth. Those are the global winds. Remember, we had the polar easterlies and, you know, like we had the trade winds cruising around the middle of the earth, um, you know, all that fun stuff. Remember, they're named based on, you know, what direction they blow from. If they blow from the east, they're easterlies. They blow from the west, they're westerlies. Um, yeah, easy peasy, right? Global winds. Now, another thing we're gonna have to know, local winds. Remember, those are the local winds, like the local winds are the ones that are affected by temperature changes in small areas. Like Santa Ana winds, those would kind of be more like our, our local winds versus the global winds that bring us like our huge rainstorms and that kind of stuff, like moving clouds around the whole earth, you know, stuff like that. So, Influenced by temperature changes in a specific area, uh, small area or place. 
Now, I want you guys to know what a wind vane is. Remember, the wind vane moves based on what direction the wind is blowing from. Um, so it shows you the, the direction the wind is blowing. Pretty easy, right? That's coming from. So if it's coming from the north and it's pointing this way, that shows us it's the north. Then if it's pointing the other way, it shows us it's blowing from the south. Then it will spin whichever direction the wind is blowing from. Now, the last thing is going to be on your guys' quiz is an anemometer. Uh, remember, that is the, the instrument that measures the speed of the wind. Now, that little anemometer, sometimes it looks like a fan blade, like the wind vane in your book is actually also an anemometer because it's got that little blade on it that spins. That little blade will turn a dial and it will show you how fast that spin, like how fast that wind is blowing. You know, three miles an hour, 10 miles an hour, 20 miles an hour, 100 miles an hour, uh, whatever it might be. Now, the other type of anemometer is the one at the bottom of that page, on page 121, and it's got the little scoops on it. So as the wind's blowing, it catches those scoops, and the scoops spin really fast. And the same kind of thing happens. A little digital gauge that will show you how fast <clears throat> that, that wind is blowing outside. If you look on weatherchannel.com, you look up Riverside, California, um, They'll have it right on there. They'll tell you exactly what the wind speed is outside. Uh, when I was getting ready to spray weeds a couple days ago, I checked, you know, seven o'clock in the morning, super early before school, uh, checked it out and it was like one mile per hour. So when, you, when I was looking outside, you could, like the trees weren't even moving. So, you know, if you're ever gonna spray weed someday, you gotta make sure there's no wind. Otherwise the weed spray will blow onto your other items and they will die. And you don't want your nice pretty plants to die. You just want the weeds to die. See what I'm saying? All right. So study those 10 words, what they mean, what they're about, and then you're going to do an awesome job on your quiz tomorrow. Uh, I'll have a quick little video tomorrow just to give you a heads up about not using your book and all that kind of fun stuff. All right. See you guys later.